Hello everybody and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today I'm going to show you how you can hack or glitch or just give yourself as much money as you want. Um, as you see, I in this tutorial I'm going to give myself 80 million um, money and 80,000 experience. But you can get however much you want. Alright, so the first thing you want to do to get started is I recommend at least creating a new profile. And now this is because if you've been maybe just playing on a normal profile for a while um, and you've gotten some things, it might not be smart to just give yourself everything you would ever want on that profile. Um, it can never hurt to start from the beginning as you can have multiple profiles as well and switch in between and switch between the few Yeah, um, I highly recommend not ruining an account um, That you've played on before and just starting off fresh here. You can just choose some random stuff It doesn't matter that much since you'll be able to um, To buy whatever you want anyways, right? So we can just continue here setting this up. I'll go ahead and select Calais as my starting city. We don't need to walk through a tutorial because we've done that before. And now we're actually just going to get our first job here. Um, we can just spam enter a little bit to skip that part. And now for this first job, it's always going to be a really, really short one. Um, but it's really important that you actually complete this. And I'll explain why in a second. So this job should probably not take you more than a minute or two, right? And then um, once you've done that, you're just going to want to select um, however you want to deliver your trailer. And now the reason I'm showing you guys this is because you do not want to skip the zero. Do not select that. You want to either do let's play it safe or where you need it. I'm just going to go let's play it safe because I'm pretty lazy. Um, so we can just park it right here. And then you'll see in a second why you need to choose one of the two options. It is actually because we need XP for this to be able to work. So we've completed it. Obviously it shouldn't take you more than one or two minutes. And we've now amassed ourselves 17 XP. We can now click on continue. And now we can skip this. Here we go, we've got everything we want now. We've got a number of XP that is not zero and preferably also not something like one or two or 10. Yeah, um, so 17 is perfect for that. And we've got an amount of money, which is not exactly 2000, it is 2366. What you wanna do next is go over to the top link in the description, which is going to bring you to this site. And this is downloading Cheat Engine. And Cheat Engine is a software that we are going to use to give ourselves as much money as we want and as much um, experience as we want in Euro Truck Simulator. Now the good thing about this is, as soon as you've given yourself the money and the experience you want, you can just go ahead and delete this again. Yeah, so anyways, we can just click on the green download button over here and we'll see that it downloads in the bottom left. So now, in my downloads folder, you can see we have Cheat Engine right here. And we can double click on that and that is going to automatically launch the setup. So we can just select English right there. That's exactly how we want it. You want to click on Next. Then um, you want to click on Decline here. That's very important. Decline as well. Um, and then it's just going to start downloading Cheat Engine. Do not click on accept because that's going to install some software you won't want. Don't worry, they're not viruses. They're just software that is just going to kind of be annoying to you and going to ask you to pay them for premium and stuff like that. Anyways, it is now downloading Cheat Engine. I know Cheat Engine is one of the things that can really easily is going to have to interact with your antivirus. And there's a pretty big chance that your computer or laptop or device or PC might say that Cheat Engine is a virus. If it does, then go ahead and not download it if you don't feel safe downloading it. Obviously, you should never download something that you don't feel safe downloading. However, if you do still want to go ahead and download it, which as you can see I just did and I'm completely fine, I can assure you it's not a virus, um, 
Then you can click on a read more option, which is going to be somewhere um, in, on the left side, and then it's going to allow you to continue the installation. Anyways, we can click on finish right over here, and we do not need to try out the tutorial, and we can click away this box over here. Then, this is Cheat Engine. This is the program. It should automatically launch. If it didn't, you can click on the Windows thing here and then search for Cheat Engine, which is now going to be an app on your device. Anyways, the first thing you want to make sure of is that, is that you have Euro Truck Simulator running in the background. As you can see, I do. I've got it running right here, and that's exactly what you want. If you don't know how to switch between this, um, what you want to do is just press alt tab and you can switch right it's um, that simple anyways then you um, now we're gonna give ourselves some money yeah so basically we want to go to this search icon over here which is gonna be highlighted by this color changing thing yeah it's pretty obvious where we want to go and here are the processes that are running and we want to select Euro Truck Simulator 2 that's the one we want then we can click on open if it asks you to load to the, well, it's not going to ask you this, it's, um, it, it asks me that because I've previously installed this software. Um, just click on no if it does prompt you with that. It shouldn't though. Um, I've just used this before, which is why it's going to ask me that. Anyways, um, now you just want to quickly check back to Euro Truck Simulator. And we're going to start off with giving ourselves the money. Yeah, so there's one important thing that we need to take note of, and that is... How much money do we have? We currently have 2,366. Very important that we remember that. So 2,366. That's what you want to type in this value box right up here. Yeah. And then you want to click on first scan. And that's going to scan and it's going to find a bunch of stuff with 2,366 on it. That's great. Now go back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, for this, to be able to actually um, continue on with this process, we're just going to need to select a job. Yeah? And now I recommend that you select a job which has the minimal route length. So for me, that is a Calais Dover route, which as you can see is very, very short. So I can just quickly select that. And as you can see, I now have this truck. It's connected to a trailer, and we can literally start driving. This job is just going to take me a maximum of five minutes, and it's pretty important that we co complete this. destination for the job and this time we can just skip it right here um, we can take a look at the results click on continue and now we should have a new amount of money how well you do this job and how much money you earn really doesn't matter it just matters that the amount of money we have has changed so we now have 2463 euros yeah so that's beautiful we can go back to over here, and as you can see, a bunch of the values are going to be red. That's exactly what we want. So, what we're going to want to do is type in our new amount of money, which in my case is 2,463. So, 2,463. And then, very important, click on Next Scan. And there we go. Um, we've found it. Maybe you have one of these, maybe you have two of these, maybe you have a few. It doesn't really matter, but we've got what we want. Whatever you have here, whether it's one, two, or ten of these things, you want to select them all and then click on this arrow right down here, and that's going to put them down there. Yeah? Then, once you've done that, in this place down here, you want to once again select all of them, which in my case is only this one. And if you're lucky, it'll also be only one. Then 
you'll see this value over here, which is 2463 in my case. You want to double click that and this box will come up and here is where the fun starts. It says, what do you want to change this value to? I wonder what I want to change this value to. I'll just give myself 80 million. Yeah, so that's 80 and then one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. And then we can click on OK. Now it's 80 million. We can head back into Euro Truck Simulator. And now it's 80 million. Beautiful. Then you want to go over to File and then save and then just click on save and you can replace any existing files click on yes there and this is safe beautiful now we can go back to Euro Truck Simulator over here as you can see nothing has changed that is because we need to exit to the launch pad just like so and then once you're at the launch pad you can double click on that to continue the game then once you're back as you can see we now have 80 million. Isn't that fantastic? Now for the experience, we want to do the exact same thing. So let's click, let's type in 30 because that's how much experience I have. And let's start a new scan. Yeah, so first scan. There we go. It's going to scan for things with 30. And now it's got everything which is 30. Yeah, it's a lot. And that's why we once again want to go over to the job market, get ourselves a quick job, look for the route with the shortest length, which in my case is going to be this one, and then just quickly complete it. So I've once again completed the mission, and we can just get the zero XP version this time. Um, as you can see, we can just show the results right there. Um, we now have more experience, 156 in fact, which is quite a lot. So we can go over to Cheat Engine, and then type in 1 five six and then click on the next scan button then as you can see this time we've got a few values well a, a few of these things that match so we can select all of them you can do that by dragging over all of them like this or clicking on the top one and shift clicking on the bottom one either way you want to have them all selected and then once again click on the little red arrow there now what you're going to want to do is go over and once again select all of them you can this time do that by clicking on the top one holding down shift and clicking on the bottom one just like that then what you want to do is just click on the value just double click on it and this is going to edit the value for each of these this one is ridiculous for some reason but let's just um, give ourselves 80,000 experience that seems reasonable to me we can click on ok and now it didn't work so select them all please double click and then 80,000 there we go now it has changed them to all I'm not sure what that was once we have done that we can go over to file click on save as save yes we can replace it and now we can head back to Euro Truck Simulator once we're there, we can exit and quit to the launch pad for real for a quick second. And then, as you can see, all of a sudden my account is level 26. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, wow. Well, we have 86,000 experience. And this skills thing is still disabled because apparently we still need a lock up, uh, um, level up. That's probably to do with the fact that we just hacked all this if you complete a route or two the skills menu will probably become available anyways you can do this as many times as you want give yourself as much as you want you know give yourself 400,000 experience it doesn't matter give yourself 200 million money uh, money I believe there is a limit though to the amount of money and experience you can have like give yourself I think if you give yourself like 20 billion, it's not going to work and their game's going to crash. Um, but that's fine. They just give yourself a lower amount. Anyways, that was basically how to hack yourself some experience and some money um, and basically all of that. Now, as you can see, I haven't unlocked anything that yet, even though I have all the experience I need and all of the money I need. Um, that is because I should be recently gotten this update. 
Yeah, and basically, you just want to, you know, drive a route. Yeah, and then the game's going to realize that you got everything. And then the game's going to be like, okay. And it's just going to um, let you unlock everything, buy whatever truck you want, upgrade it as many times as you want. Um, and basically all that. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to ask those down in the comments below. However, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.